David here with Fake Boot on Pens, back again with another pen review. Today, I have for you another brand new pen from Le Bon. Uh, about three months ago, I reviewed their new Ocean model, uh, and today I have their next release in that line, and this pen is called the Forest. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Le Bon Forest, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for, show some measurements, some size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, and stay tuned to learn how you can win this very pen, courtesy of Le Bon, who provided this pen for review and for me to give away to one of you. Uh, the pen arrives in this box, and inside, if it wants to come out, we have another box. Uh, inside there, there's a use and care guide. Uh, there is a little uh, plastic uh, faux wax seal that was attached to the clip. And then we have the pen. This is the Le Bon Forest. Uh, this pen is part of their Cambridge collection, uh, and while this pen is marketed as a, a special edition, that I don't believe it's a numbered edition. Uh, this pen is made from two different types of acrylic, uh, and it is accompanied by some gold-plated trim. The uh, cap and the section and the barrel, uh, end of the barrel actually, are an ivory acrylic, uh, and the barrel is an Italian green resin. Uh, the green has quite a bit of marbling to it. When it really hits the light, it really kind of reminds me of kind of like the light shimmering through the leaves of a forest canopy. It's kind of nice. Now, I'm not fond of actual ivory and what it represents, but I think that this ivory-esque material looks very nice on this pen. Uh, the darker veins kind of give it more of a personality than a straight white or off-white color. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. Uh, the end of the cap is rounded, and on the top there is an insert with an olive branch motif and an L for Le Bon. Uh, the cap is encircled by two round bands, uh, and then we have the clip. Uh, I wouldn't say this clip is flashy by any means, but I feel it fits in well with the overall design of this pen, and it functions just fine in pockets with thinner or thicker material, or, or even leather pen sleeves. The cap angles up just slightly. We're only talking about a millimeter from here to here. Uh, and then there is a wide gold-plated cap band. Uh, on the band, it's etched with the company name Le Bon. Uh, there is a rounded step down to the barrel, which begins with two bands and then transitions into the forest green acrylic. Uh, the barrel uh, isn't straight. It tapers down just slightly less than a millimeter from beginning to end. Uh, and then we have a final ring, and the end portion of the barrel is the ivory-inspired material, and it's rounded at the end. Uh, the cap twists off to reveal this steel Yovo number no. 6 gold-plated nib. Uh, I like the size of this nib, and I feel that it fits in well with the overall size of the pen. Uh, also, I think that the gold matches well with the other gold-plated accents on the, tr on the pen. Uh, on the nib, it is etched with Le Bon, Germany, and 3952, which is a reference to the highest uh, mountain in Korea, in South Korea, which is the Yushan Mountain. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the section begins with a slight rounded flare and angles up to the cap threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable at all. Um, while I do care for the looks and shape and length of this section, I will say that the material is a little susceptible to staining when dipping it in ink. Uh, not a permanent stain, mind you, I don't believe, but after inking up the pen, I do find I need to use a wet tissue to remove all of the ink from the section as opposed to only a dry one. Uh, like I said, I do like the, the shape of this section. I find it to be very comfortable even for longer writing sessions. This is a cartridge converter pen. A standard international converter is included. Um, since there are metal parts in both the section and the barrel, eye dropping this pen would not be advised. Uh, the forest can be posted, and while it does post securely, um, it doesn't post that deeply. So it does add a bit of length to the pen, and I feel that it backweights it, throwing off the balance. So I prefer to use this pen unposted. Now, I'm fortunate that I get to try out a lot of pens that I wouldn't necessarily purchase for myself. Uh, this is one of those pens. Uh, the overall aesthetic is one that at first glance 
kind of doesn't match up well with my personal tastes, but the more I use this Le Bon, the more I like it. Uh, and the same happened with the, uh, the Ocean model that I reviewed earlier. Uh, between this forest green and the blue material of the Ocean, um, I kind of personally prefer the blue, but this green has really grown on me. Plus, it's a perfect pen to pair with a nice green ink. Uh, the Le Bon Forest retails for about $110 and is available from a number of retailers. Uh, and I feel that that is a, a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Um, I find it to be well crafted. It has an interesting and unique look. And as you'll see in the writing sample, it performs very well. So there you have the Le Bon Forest. We had the ocean and now we have the forest. Uh, I'll be looking forward to see what Le Bon comes out next in this series. Uh, maybe a dark brown for earth, or maybe like a sandy brown for desert. We'll see. Thanks go out to Labonte for providing this new pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, regarding the giveaway, in order to enter, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment below either in YouTube or in Patreon. Today is Saturday, February 23rd, 2019, and you have until end of day on Tuesday, the 26th, to enter. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, the last Le bon model I reviewed represented the ocean, and this one represented the forest. Um, if you could create a pen which represented something in nature, what would you want it to be? The comment topic is not required, it is just a suggestion. So, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Le Bon Forest. Uh, here it is with a Lamy Safari. This is the petrol model. Uh, here it is with a Twisby Go. Uh, and then here it is with another pen from Le Bon called the uh, Skeleton, which I need to review sometime soon, but I think this is a pretty cool looking skeleton pen. And in regard to a couple of other pens, here it is with a Pilot Stella 90S or a Stargazer. Uh, then here it is with a Pilot Custom 743. Uh, and then finally, here is a pen, a brand new pen actually, from uh, Fisher of Pens. Uh, that uh, what this pen is, is a new limited edition where uh, that uh, Carl Fisher has begun using some coins as far as some cap bands as well as at the end of the pen. There's a dime here on the end and a quarter that's been used as a band here. Uh, and it's a very interesting pen that I will be reviewing uh, and giving away here in the next couple of weeks. And this is what it looks like in comparison. Here we go with the writing sample for the Le Bon Forest. This is a medium steel nib, uh, and the ink that I'm using today is called uh, Three Oysters Namsan. This is what the ink looks like. I thought it was a nice green to match up with the, uh, the forest green look of this pen. Uh, this is what it looks like in regard to uh, Noodler's Forest Green, uh, or even something like Colorverse Schrodinger. Uh, this is what the bottles look like. Uh, actually, Three Oysters come in two different sizes of bottles, but this is the, the larger of the bottles. It has a little indentation here so that you could actually lean it up here in order to uh, dip it uh, and get a little bit more ink out of it. But uh, it's a nice line of inks that I'll be uh, actually doing a review of in the next couple of weeks. Now, in regard to the rest of the writing sample, um, I do like this uh, medium steel nib a great deal that the the Le bon nibs uh, do perform well they're, they're standard Yovo nibs but I haven't had any issues with any that I have received um, they've had fairly good ink flow and in regard to some reverse writing uh, 
Um, it started going here at the end, but it wasn't necessarily the most fantastic. Uh, in regard to some fast writing, there's no issues with the feed keeping up whatsoever. So there we have the Laban Forest. Uh, like I said, that uh, it, it's a pen that's grown on me, uh, mainly because of its performance and that I've enjoyed writing with it. And so that's really made me uh, enjoy the pen more since I've received it. And it's again, another pen that I'll regret, regret giving away, but I have a feeling that whoever wins it will be happy with this. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.